Good afternoon, New London, and welcome back to another episode of Tiger Television. I'm Jenna Hummel. I'm Delissa Scott. We have a packed episode for you today with a look into the start of track season and the effect of unhealthy lungs. We also are going to take a look at the BMX assembly and Dollar for Scholars, also a Tiger Token assembly next week. Coming to you right after this. Tiger Television, starring... Catherine McAllister, Delissa Scott, Maddie Kirshner, Ella Francis, Haley Krieger, Ashley Snipe, Levi Bowles, Jenna Hummel, Riley Grogan, and Bailey Reed. Season 3, Tiger Television. Now let's look at events coming up this week. Tomorrow there is a Dollar for Scholars auction in the high school gym. Monday, there is a high school girls track meet at Columbus starting at 4.30. For other upcoming events, be sure to check the school website. Now we take a look into the start of high school boys and girls track with Haley Krieger. Take it away, Haley. This is Haley Krieger giving you an inside look into the upcoming track season. Both the boys and girls track teams have been hard at work the past couple of weeks preparing for the first track meets of the season. I'm Kennedy and I've been in track for four years. I'm Ashley and I've been in track for four years. I'm Brandy and I've been in track for three years. My goals for the season are to drop my times and hopefully make it to state. My goals for this year are to get new personal records on the eight and the mile and hopefully make it to state. Uh, my goals are to set new personal records and hopefully make it to state. My most memorable track moment was freshman year at the state qualifying meet when I face planted and long jump. We're really excited about this season. We have a lot of girls out, mo the most we've had in quite a while, and um, it's a lot of fun and I really encourage people to go out for track next year. The boys track team is also very strong in numbers this season. I'm Riley Grogan. I'm Colton. I've thrown for three years. I've thrown since seventh grade. Oh, so about six, six years. Be six. My favorite memory is almost beating Grogan in middle school. And My goal is to the school record. The discus record is actually the longest standing record in in the school. And then next goal is to of course make it to state again and place top eight. Uh, if what I can say to future kids who want to go out for track would be do it. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's always something that can suit you. I mean you don't have to run. You can do high jump, long jump, disc, shot. just a lot of stuff you can do and it's just super fun go tiger this season i'm excited to see how uh, some of our new freshmen are going to do and how some of our returners are going to do um, it looks like we have a pretty strong middle distance uh, group of kids um, we're fortunate that we have uh, some strong volunteers in uh, lance Ingerson, and i guess he's now a volunteer we've got coach garvey back again um, our, our goal is really to try to get as many guys to state as possible, and I just hope everyone, at least during the course of the season, um, improves a little bit in everything they do. My favorite track meet is the Central Lead Track Meet because they have the greatest concession stand. They have really good brats there. And the Waco Meet has these really good cake balls there. That's a good one, too. As far as the running part goes, I really like the Van Buren Meet. We always tend to do pretty well there. I think we have a, a chance to do well in everything this year. I would encourage any athlete, especially if you're in football or basketball, I'd strongly encourage you to go out for track. All, all it's going to do is help you. But um, it's not too late to go out if you'd like to. We could always use a couple more bodies. Um, we've got, right now we're sitting at around 17 kids. If we could have a couple more, that would be great. I am absolutely excited for this spring for our track team. Um, we have a lot more numbers out this year. We've got good quality. If anybody out there is always on the fence thinking about it, now is your time. Get out for track. It's fun. The weather's beautiful. It's a good, close team, and we want you out.
Go Tigers! This has been Haley Krieger reporting for Tiger Television. Sounds like they are going to start with a good season. Next, here's an interesting story about the respiratory therapy department from SCC, who recently visited the students in Mrs. Matthews' workplace readiness class. Hi, I'm Mrs. Matthews, and I teach the workplace readiness classes. I invite workplace speakers to come and talk about different careers to give all the students a vast array of careers to choose from. And I invited Ms. Sue Ellen Carmody Menser from SCC. She's in charge of the respiratory therapy program, and she brought a couple students with her to talk to our class. New health occupation profession building, so every health career that SCC offers will be in this state-of-the-art building. Um, she said that it has a sim lab with uh, elderly people, infants, pretty much every kind of patient you could possibly have. Um, EMS has a ambulance built into the building. This is a high-tech specialty lab that has a patient or mannequin, which is what you would think it is. He can talk, he can blink, he can change colors. He can yell at you. He can do all the things that you may get from a real patient, so you're getting a real life, as close to life experience as you can on certain situations that we don't want to make somebody have a heart attack and arrest for you to get experience. We can make Joe here, the dummy, do that. She um, brought in a set of pig lungs, which mo uh, she brought those because they are the closest thing to human lungs that she can get, and she brought in a healthy pair and a sick pair, and she explained that this is what um, smoking can do to your lungs over extended time. I'm Julian Wyckoff, and one thing that I learned when the people came from SEC to talk about respiratory systems is that smoking is bad. This has been Maddie Kirshner reporting to you from Tiger Television. That looked interesting. Next, we have some information on Dollars for Scholars. The New London chapter of Dollars for Scholars was started in October 2001. Their mission is to raise money for, for scholarships for graduating seniors this year and future graduates, and any New London student that has graduated in the past 10 years that is returning to post-secondary education. The scholarship is available to any graduate regardless of financial needs, GPA, or extracurricular activities. Since they since their start in 2001, they have awarded over $40,000 in scholarships to 243 New London graduates. This is a program that will benefit our current and future graduates for many years to come with your continued support. There is a great variety of items to auction this year, ranging from favorite snacks baskets, Tiger Pride baskets, Milwaukee drill and accessories, summer baskets, home decorations, pies, cheesecakes, goodies, hair products, and much more. Items can be viewed on Facebook page New London, Iowa Dollars for Scholars auction. The auction is this Saturday at 6.30. The doors will open at 5.30. Snacks and drinks are provided. This year, there will be a Kids Corner sponsored by Two Rivers Bank and Trust to entertain the younger attendees. There will be games, prizes, TV, and snacks for kids to stay busy. This past Monday, the National Guard brought in a crew of three BMX riders, Wesley Hark, Andrew Fox, and Will Thompson. They showed us some amazing stunts like jumping right over Mr. Kraft and jumping straight over four students. Now that was cool. And stay tuned with a sneak peek with Catherine McAllister about next week's episode. This is Catherine McAllister reporting for KTTV. On next week's episode, you will hear a variety of your New London staff talking about our one-to-one -one computer program. From where we started to where we are now, stay tuned to get the inside scoop on our computers. I hear a lot of kids complaining about the speed of their computers. I'm really proud of what we've done with our one-to-one -one here. What's next? What's new? Stay tuned next week for part one of this investigative series on our one-to-one -one program. Next week is a special Thursday episode right before our spring break. We'll, we'll see, see you next week on Tiger Television. television.